What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little game called Petty Puny Planet. Where apparently we are a god. This game was made in like a couple days for Ludum Dari 38 so it's another Game Jam game. But I've found that there's actually some Game Jam games out there that are really good and I end up enjoying tremendously. So let's check out Petty Puny Planet and see what's going on. Let's find ourselves a planet. This planet looks kind of whack. I don't like this planet. This planet doesn't look good. This planet looks troublesome. Oh look, a planet with tiny people on it. Let's micromanage the stardust out of it. From now on, you're in charge of it. It's a tiresome job though, so you might want to take a century long break after taking a decision. I just hope nothing breaks down while you're gone. Alright, here we go. So, when your people, keeping your people happy will eventually make them wealthy. Plan accordingly. Okay, well let's go, let's make a moon. Yeah, you made a moon. There it is. I mooned that planet. I mooned the hell out of it. I hope that asteroid doesn't hit our planet. Okay, I was a little worried about it, that meteor. 100 years later. 100 years of nothing. Why do we even bother? Certain choices will randomly impact the world. Uh, they can discover fire. There we go. Oh, look, our planet has like a marshmallow on a stick now. Hooray! Did the planet learn how to make fire? Or did people learn how to make fire? People learned how to make fire. Somebody got burned. Anyhow, people learned to make use of fire. A hundred years later! Oof. Who we'll turned on the freezer? Apparently there was a century-long ice age. Tiny people stayed indoors in their warm, fire-heated homes. Good for them. Science, evolution, dumb labor, uh, what do tiny people need this time? Uh, give them cooking? Oh, there's a duck in a spaceship over there. How did that duck become spacefaring? There we go. They learned to make lots of spaghetti. A hundred years later! Apparently spaghetti has the power to change worlds. A hundred years of nothing, why do we even bother? What's next, oh captain, my captain? Um... Evolution? Civilization has gone stale, let's kinda spice things up. What's gonna happen though? They're gonna kill each other, aren't they? Oof, who turned on the freezer? Apparently there was a century long ice age. Yay, my fire allowed them to survive. <gasps> I can make them grow wings? Yes, give them wings. People want to fly, but they don't like waiting in airplanes. Decisions, decisions. Ah, uh, let's just give them wings. Cool, we gave people wings. Obviously, this won't backfire. Oh boy, some trees caught fire. People had to flee in terror. What's the worst that could happen? Lycanthropy? Let's give them farming. That might help. Some water, some seeds, and suddenly, crops. Someone's running around in a banana suit. Don't mind him. Back to business as usual. He ran around with a banana suit for a hundred years? Dude, that thing must have stunk. That thing must have stunk like the inside of a rotten toe. That thing must have smelled terrible by the end. Whip it out bot right now? I'm in the middle of a video. I don't think YouTube looks kindly upon that. I think I might get in trouble. Well, we got a choice between rest, mysterious defect, and hold a festival. I'm gonna hold a festival. Mysterious defect seems kind of mean. People came from all over the world and are gathering to have a good time. There's 40 people and they look so happy. Ah! Oh, they've got 40 happiness. I got you. A hundred years later. It seems that you've got a pyromaniac in your planet. Little Deviant sent some houses on fire. People had to flee in terror. What's the worst that could happen? Add some riches. There we go. You filled the world with riches and the people started hoarding them. They're gonna get into a war and they're gonna kill each other. I know it. Apparently, there have been very tough times. Scarcity and a lack of jobs. Everybody's having a bad time. Let's just blame it on bad luck. Um, let's rest. You let the tiny people mind their own business for a century. Okay, well, 20 of them came back, so apparently... Yay! We survived another ice age. Why is there a... There's like an orange on the side of our planet's head. Is that farming? I don't know. Uh, let's add more riches? What, what happens when I add more riches? Oh, another ice age. We survived it again. Yay. Uh, smelting crafts. Your people got really good at getting ore, smelting and using tools to get more of them. Good lord. Our planet has a beard now. Oh man, some trees caught fire and the people had to flee in terror. No, no, me lord, the trees on fire! Run for your lives! It's an arboreal menace! Uh, we can grow gills or we can rest. Let's rest for a little while. You let the tiny people mind their own business for a century. I'm gonna rest whenever I can, because it seems like people come back whenever I rest. No! More trees are catching fire! Why are trees in this place so flammable? 100 years later, bad things aren't gonna happen, I know it. Things are gonna be okay. Yay! Nothing happened. Uh, we can give them weapons. That seems like a bad plan. We can also turn them into werewolves. Werewolves it is! They're now werewolves. Let's give people fangs and fur every now and again. <laughs> Surely this won't backfire at all. Nothing happened. Really, after the addition of lycanthropy, nothing happened. Well, let's have a festival. 
So that got us up to 60 happiness. People are pretty happy right now. I think we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna rest for a while. Yeah, mind their own business. It seems like when I leave them alone, they're the happiest. So you know what? Just let them be happy. Um, let's re let's give them writing. The people can now preserve knowledge for future generations. It only took them two millennia. That's that's slightly better than us. You know, we've been around since like BC 10,000, 20,000. So you know, we did all right. Writing didn't show up till like 3,000, 4,000 BC. I don't know. I didn't take anthropology. We can try again. Let's rest. Ooh, 110 happiness. Yeah. Now we got ourselves stocked. Good to go. And then they survived another ice age, so that's good. Ooh, let's have monarchy. Yeah, now we got a little... We lost our beard, though. Our show lost our beard, man. That's it. It's all over. There's not much wealth lying around. You chose a random person with a beard and selected it to manage the riches. What could possibly go wrong? Well, it kind of depends. I mean, if they're like the Sun King, it'll be fine. Like Alexander the Great, they'll be fine. If they turn out to be like Nero or something, though. You know... Uh, let's go with medieval weapons. Yay! Let the people have swords and flails. Medieval weaponry is the best. Obviously, that'll help out. Why is our planet so green, though? Turns out your people don't know how to mine well, and they made a mine that collapsed. Thankfully, they had wings that helped them lead the place, so it wasn't really, like, a big deal. Um, manga. How is manga gonna help in this situation? Dental plans. Yeah, your people need braces. They were expensive, but they're far healthier. Our planet has braces now. He's got dentition. He's got little teeths. Well, we dodged another ice age, so that's good. Um, let's give them gills. I wonder if these people would enjoy breathing underwater. Let's find out. I mean, do we do it like, do we evolve it so we hold them underwater and the ones that survive being held underwater go on to breed? And then they just continue forward with this plan of us just like selectively breeding people who are better at being underwater without oxygen? Or did we just make them sprout gills like water world style out the side of their necks? The king of the planet turned out to be a tyrant. Uh, tiny people ever raised arms and took control of the planet once again. Riches for everyone! See, it just goes to show you that if you uprise and you kill all the rich people, everyone's happier for it. Everyone's happier for it. It's just like every hundred years or so, we gotta hang some bastards from a lamppost. It is what it is. We don't get to pick when these times come along, but we do get to water the tree every now and again. So, uh, what are we gonna do next? Um, do nothing? As they say, the only winning move is not to play. Let's check on them in a few years. Let's see what happens. We've given them a lot of upgrades lately. It seems you've got a pyromaniac on your plan. He set the houses on fire. Luckily, everybody went in the ocean, so water breathing's such a blessing. Uh, let's give them all science. Yeah, he's got a little beaker on the side now, sure. Give him knowledge. Just remember that sometimes science is more art than science. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, as long as it's explainable, I think it remains science. Uh, let's give them computers. I love computers. Colossorama. Hell yeah, they can play video games. It's time to introduce the world to the wonders of the glorious PC Master Race. Apparently, these have been very tough times. There's scarcity and a lack of jobs. Everybody's having a bad time. Let's just blame it on bad luck. Well, then I'm going to rest for a little bit and see what happens. Something's going to happen, though. Something, nothing good happens on this planet. What's that big hole they're digging in? It seems to be a mine. Yep, they struck gold. This is going to look good on their GDP. Hell yeah. Let's also make a festival. I want to see how happy people can get. Another festival. And then I can also give them more riches. Uh, online streaming! Yeah, oh, he's got, there we've got the Turtle Beach now, he's killing it. Apparently the title people love watching other people do funny stuff on the internet. Everybody's doing it now. It'd be cool if you could stream that development of planets, don't you think? Wink, wink. Yeah, I didn't know this was going to happen, all right? I didn't plan for this to occur. It just sort of occurred all by its lonesome, all right? So don't blame me, I'm not trying to capitalize right now. Apparently, ah, damn it. Everybody's having a bad time. Let's do some research. Yeah, put a lab coat on this planet. Are you smoking a cigar right now, planet? Oh, that's a mine, maybe? I don't know what that is. He's still got an orange stuck to his head, too. While the people like you giving them everything, they like researching their own stuff now and then. No idea if they got anything actually done, but they sure like looking smart. Okay, well, that's cool. Let them have a little bit of knowledge, then. Some fuel units. Competitive gaming, oh, good lord. Let's invent taxes, because that's sure to make people happy. Pile up those peasants as it's time to collect their income for a good cause, of course, I think. Yeah, for the cause of me being a rich-ass god. I gotta be a rich deity. My booty be plated in gold. Nothing happened in a hundred years. Let's try again. Uh, rest for a little bit? Maybe they'll get happier. I mean, we got more gold from it, so that's good. Trees caught fire, but everybody went to the ocean, so it's all good. We don't have a king anymore. We overthrew him. Seems like the current king is loved by his people. Let's throw a huge party. Yay! 
Long live the king, may the king live, may the king live forever. You never heard that song before, Zadok the Priest? That shit goes. Uh, do more research? They like researching. Let's see if anything bad happens from the research, though. I bet they're going to make a zombie plague. Oh, they didn't, so we're good. Uh, rest? I'm pretty sure we've more or less maxed out this planet and done all the things that we're going to do. I mean, we got to put it... Ooh, a fantasy theme. There we go. Oh, we've got little elf ears, but you can't see them behind our farming hat. Let's fill the world with mystical races, creatures, and dragons. Everybody loves dragons. I don't know, man. I think their popularity is dragon. Yeah, we've dodged a bunch of ice ages now. We can abandon the world. Um, I don't know what abandoning them is going to do. Do nothing for a little while. We'll see what happens here. There's got to be more choices that we can throw in. It's weird that our little, our, our scarf, our muffler, Colossorama, what is competitive gaming, here we go. The tiny people decided to get good at video games. They held a century-long tournament. It was a good time. I don't think that would turn, with half the shit I hear in competitive games on the internet, I don't think that would be a good time at all. Uh, we'll do advanced science. Ooh, we got a computer chip stuck in our continent now. Tiny people are building robots and machines and whatnot. Has science gone too far? I don't know. Let's push it further. Hell yeah, it's not my planet. I can go find another one. While you were gone, the people went to war. The whole thing was a mess. I don't think they had good reasons to fight either. Magic? How about adding some wizards and spellcasters to the planet? That's not a bad idea, right? Oh, we've got a bag of Doritos right there, and then it looks like we've got... Oh, we've got a wizard hat and a pimp ring. Hooray! How about adding some wizards and spellcasters to the planet? That's not a bad idea, right? Of course not. What's the worst that could happen? See, nothing. Nothing happened. Let's just uh, rest for a little while. Oh no. I'm gonna hold a festival to make them happy again because that's all that I can do after a big How do we celebrate the ending of a giant war where we slaughter each other? We celebrate, let's go one more choice. Are three choices not enough from you? Well now on you get to choose four. Oh shit. Upgrades, moving up that talent tree. Let's see here, ooh space travel. Yeah, now we got a spaceship up there, hell yeah. Now they're leaving the planet, there's nothing wrong with a little independence but if they really wanna live somewhere else they're gonna need to fund their colonization program. I mean, it looks like they got it together to get spaceships, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's give them a mysterious defect. Let's give them a defect. An unintended mutation seems to be affecting a tiny fraction of the population. I wonder if it's good or bad. Do we have Mountain Dew over there? It looks like we got Mountain Dew, too. Some people mutated into monsters. The horror! The tiny people were prepared for the fight, though, and they fought back. A great victory for your tiny planet. Cool. Uh, Colossorama? The tiny people wanted entertainment. Let's give them an arena, a coliseum of mayhem, a colossorama. So, oh, we got a, like a warrior helmet now. Oh, people from all over the planet gathered. It wasn't very hard. It's a small planet to watch a magical showdown. The scientists showed up as well. It gave them lots of material for research. I like their optimism. Okay. Let's give them manga too. That'll help out. Books have way too many words. Let's add magical schoolgirls and superpowered beefed up dudes to them. And it's right there. He's got DBZ haircuts. And also a Dragon Ball. He's got the four one. The king of the planet turned out to be a dick. Tiny people kicked his ass, though. All right, abandon the world. This planet is such a mess now. Let's let it be and start a new one, shall we? But we've got a beard now. All right, new planet. New planet. We're going to do a new planet. New planet. New planet. Abandonment ending. New planet. I think we did okay. Like, we could have done better, but I mean... Uh, this game is called Petty Puny Planet. If you like it. You can get it down below at the link and play it yourself. We created a planet with a wizard hat, elf ears, Doritos, Mountain Dew, a computer chip in his face, manga, and a badass beard. It's up to you to see what you can do with your planet. I'll put a link for you down below. It's totally free. I'll see you all later. My name is Splattercat. I play indie games on the internet. If you like what I do here, check out the Patreon. And aside from that, support indie developers all day, every day. I'll see you all next time with something fun. I.